Hi guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while since you've heard from me, but I've had a lot going on, but I wanted to talk scale to you. If you're in 112 scale and you're having a hard time with measurements, I just wanted to show you two things. This ruler, you can sit down by the eighths and the sixteenths. So you can kind of see, if I can stop wiggling the camera, you'll be able to see anyway. You see how it goes like that. Now, I've created a ruler that is taking this measurement and putting it in one's 12 scale for you. So basically, if you look at one foot here, which is at the one inch, because one inch equals a foot, you will see that it says one foot. So one foot is here, one inch is here. And then the smaller measurements are broken down. So if you want like a three foot table, then you would go three inches, okay? But over here, you would go three inches, but not over here, because this is already converted to the three inches for you, which is three feet. And I know that gets to be confusing, but most tables are about 36 inches high. So instead of looking at this and wondering if you're converting the measurements properly, you would look at this and you would get three feet. If you had a six foot person, it's here, but over here it would be six inches and then so on all the way down to 12 feet. So down here I have the smaller scale measurements. I'm not sure if you can see those. Might have to go back and make that font a little bit smaller, but I also engraved this twice because the first time around I forgot to cut it. So I had to go back and, and I just went over it twice. So I have to see how to work out for that. But um, back to the ruler here. If you have a six foot, three inch person, then here you would have six foot, three inches, and then six foot, six inches, six foot, nine inches, not too many people are tall like that. But if you have, say, for instance, a five and a half foot person, then you would go five feet, six inches. Or if you have a doorway and you want your door to be tall and you wanna measure your door, All right, so right here, my door is seven feet, three inches. I don't know if you can see that. Actually, it's right around seven feet. I'm looking at it from an up angle. Yeah, I'm looking at it from an up angle. You can actually see it better than I can with the camera straight. But the height of the peak, you can see it's not quite 12 feet when you're coming to the peak. It's more like 11 feet, six inches. And then it's a little taller than 12 feet here. So that would be like a 12 foot roof if you were looking at that. And by the way, this is another greenhouse. It's more of a simple one that I started painting to make it look rustic. So if you like that, I'll put it on my shop. I was just kind of playing around with it. And um, I wanted to make something in there that hung that held flower pots and stuff. So I kind of did a little bit of rustic stuff. Um, if you're one of looking at like this one, for instance, y'all recognize this house. It's still sitting here. Um, that would be a nine foot porch up to here. So that kind of gives you an idea on scale. The windows, same way. If you start at the bottom and then you go up, You're almost at five feet, three inches. So you're really right around five feet, two inches-ish. But that's how that works. So if you guys are interested in this ruler, let me know and um, I'll put it on my shop for you. Right now, this one is a test ruler and I just did it out of some quarter inch. I could probably do it out of acrylic or I could do it out of um, different type of wood like the MDF or something like that. And then this is a piece of MDF. But I honestly think this is thicker. It's just this was a scrap piece, so I just cut it from there. But anyway, so I hope that helped you with the scale some and helped you get where you need to be. If you had any questions or whatever, you know, just leave them in the comments below and I'll help you the best I can.